Welcome to your national weather update. High pressure continues to dominate, but it is going to be turning colder. Here's the large area of high pressure, fairly cumbersome beast, only slowly moving and around high pressure the winds go clockwise. So feeding in quite a lot of cloud and moisture from the North Sea. And we've also seen a few showers coming into parts of southern Scotland, northern England, the odd one for the east of Northern Ireland. Still a few of those around through the evening, but tending to ease off. A lot of cloud across these eastern parts, but where we've got clear skies, of course, West Wales, South West England and a good chunk of Northern Scotland, we are likely to see a frost with temperatures perhaps as low as minus six through some sheltered glens in Scotland. Where we've got the cloud temperatures just about hovering above freezing for most, but still going to feel pretty cold on uh, Friday morning, especially under the fairly grey skies. Most will have a dry day, but the cloud could be thick enough here and there over the Midlands, Eastern England for the odd light shower. A sunny day for a good part of Scotland, even the south and central belt should brighten up through the day. And I'm hopeful for some sunny spells to develop over eastern England too, but it'll come and go, I think, any sunshine with cloud never too far away. And certainly for Wales and southern England, a much greyer day on Friday compared to Thursday. Across northern Scotland, uh, the Northern Isles in particular, there will be a few showers drifting south on the brisk breeze. Elsewhere, though, the wind's fairly light. Temperatures around or a touch below average in the sunshine with light winds shouldn't feel too bad. But stuck under the cloud, I suspect seven or eight Celsius might feel quite cold. During Friday evening, not a great deal of change. We may see a few more breaks in the cloud over the Midlands, northern and eastern England. And wherever we've got clear skies, that is going to allow a frost to form once more. So again, turning pretty chilly into Saturday morning and the northerly winds getting going as well. A few more of those showers drifting into northeast Scotland during Saturday. A small chance of one or two of them grazing the east coast of England by the end of the day. With a brisk breeze blowing here again, going to feel pretty cold where it stays grey, but with a bit of sunshine, temperatures could get to 8 or 9 Celsius in southwest Scotland. But generally turning colder as we go through the weekend. That line of showers is a weak weather front, but it's a cold weather front. So although it's not producing much rain, it is going to introduce colder air as the high pressure finally slinks away. The northerly winds not especially strong, but introducing colder and colder air. So a much chillier feel through this weekend, particularly where it is breezy across uh, northern and eastern parts during Sunday. A colder feel with temperatures around or touch below average, but it may well get colder still as the northerly winds uh, bring colder air in through Monday and especially Tuesday. And as these weather fronts and low pressure may introduce more moisture, that does increase the chance of some snow as we go through next week. Too early to say exactly where, exactly how much. This is Tuesday of next week, but increasing chance of some wintry weather with frost, ice, and yes, some snow on the card. So stay up to date with the forecast. We'll be constantly updating you if you follow us on social media.